Meanwhile, Heritage is our last area team standing. Alyssa Ray checks in on the Pioneers quest for Commonwealth supremacy on the eve of the state finals. In 2017, the Pioneers voyage to a state title fell just short, losing in the Class 3 final to Hopewell by just one score. Since that loss, Heritage started a new journey to return to the championship game. And I think that our kids, you know, they remember that day. They remember everything about that day. They remember coming up short. They remember the ride home. They remember having to take up the, uh, the runner-up trophy rather than, than, the, uh, than the regular trophy. Uh, but at the end of the day, they've had to earn their way here. So I'm very proud of them for that. But we still have a lot of unfinished business to do. The Pioneers withstood a tough Lord Botetot squad in the semifinal to earn their place back in the promised land. Quarterback Jabari Blake led the charge with 194 passing yards, 122 yards rushing, and accounting for five touchdowns in the 42 to 39 win. Oh, Jabari, he he's then got a lot stronger, a lot tougher, and he just he's a big guy. He just gonna help us out a lot. Heritage's next challenge on their trek to a state title is Phoebus. The perennial power won five state titles in a six year span between 2006 and 2011. They're fast, they're athletic, they're strong, uh, well coached. Um, so we definitely have a huge task at hand. But you know what? It should be that way in the state championship game. You know, these are good football teams, and it's the last game. And these seniors, it's the last 48 minutes. And we have a saying here this week you know, you got five days to prepare, you got 48 minutes to perform, you got a lifetime to remember. The road to the championship game led the Pioneers to a clash with the 13-1 Phantoms Saturday at Liberty University. And on this expedition, the Pioneers don't plan on going home empty-handed. In Lynchburg, Alyssa Ray, 10 Sports.